It is also a big day for India at the Paris Olympics. Neer Chopra, the reigning world and Olympic champion, will be in action in the javelin throw final today at 11.55 p.m. Now, Neeraj had qualified for the final after just one throw, 89.34 meters, and it was the best throw of the qualification. It was the second best throw of his career, and Neeraj will be looking to match or even better that performance in the final. Now, he is expected to face a tough challenge from Julian Weber of Germany, Anderson Peters of Grenada, and Jacob Vadlaik of Czechia, and Ashad Nadim of Pakistan. And after the Indian hockey men's heartbreaking loss to Germany in the semi-finals, India will take on Spain today in the bronze medal match. India will compete for the bronze medal for the second Olympics in a row. Spain, that lost 4-0 in its semi-final match against Netherlands, will be looking to stop India from winning its second straight bronze at the Olympics. Meanwhile, the Indian team will welcome defender Amit Rohidas and will be in action against Spain. Rohidas had missed out to the semi-final clash against Germany following a one-match ban India and Spain have also played 34 games internationally against each other, with the Indian side holding a 16-12 advantage over Spain, while six matches ended in a draw. In the last five encounters as well, India holds a 4-1 advantage over Spain, with two of their wins coming via shoot-offs. Today's bronze match will be played at around 5.30 p.m. India time. Now, shifting focus very slightly, it's been another day and another heartbreak at the Paris Olympics for India as Mirabai Chanu missed out on a podium finish in the women's 49 kg weightlifting event by just one kilogram. The Tokyo Olympic silver medalist ended her campaign in the fourth position with a total score of 199, just short of the thigh lifter who claimed the bronze medal with a score of 200. Now, reflecting on her performance after the event, Mirabai Chanu vowed to work hard and give her best performance in the next Olympic Games. Listen in. I tried to make a whole effort that the sir has given me, the weight of the weight, the weight of the weight, the weight of the weight of the weight, 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 पर पता नहीं चला मैं जब जब क्लीन करने के बाद जब कैसा मिस हो गया पर सेकेंड लिप में फिर से मैंने पास किया फोर्टीन में पास हुआ तो मेरा सेवन मेडल थी पर ये सब प्लेयर्स की किस्मत होती है तो थोड़ा सा मुझे रह गई तो मैं पूरा मेरी तरफ से तो मैंने पूरा कोशिश किया था Now, with this, Mirabai Chanu joins the long list of Indian athletes who missed out on a medal in Paris after finishing fourth. Now, first, it was Arjun Babuta who finished fourth in the men's 10-meter air rifle event. Then, the duo of Dheeraj Bhamadevra and Ankita Bhakat missed out on third in the mixed team event in archery. Now, India's Dhakar girl, Manu Bhakar, did win two bronze medals in Paris, but missed out on a three-peat after finishing fourth in the women's 25-meter pistol event. Now, in the skeet mixed team event, Maheshwari Chauhan and Anandjit Singh Naruka had the same fate. Millions of Indians were left heartbroken after star shuttler Lakshay Sen tasted defeat in his bronze medal match at the Games. We're crossing over to my colleague Karishma now. Karishma, when we're talking about Vinesh Fogart, one thing that is highly awaited is the CAS verdict. Do we know why exactly there's a delay? Well, the hearing in uh, Vinesh Fogat's case has still hasn't happened. So, of course, there is going to be a hearing first, and then we will be expecting an interim order on uh, her ask for a joint shared silver. Uh, so, let's wait and see when the hearing happens. And accordingly, there is going to be a result as far as uh, Vinesh Fogat is concerned. Uh, there is going to be an order from the Court of Arbitration for Sports once the hearing happens. But what I can confirm is it's about going to be 11 a.m. in Paris, and uh, the hearing still hasn't taken place. Now, we're also looking ahead at something very exciting, which is going to be Neeraj Chopra's event that's going to be at 11.55 p.m. India time. Tell us more about what we're expecting there.
Well, we are expecting Neeraj Chopra to defend his gold medal. Remember, he became the first Indian uh, athlete in athletics to win a gold medal in Olympics, and he is looking to go uh, for gold number two, and he will become the first Indian athlete to win back-to-back -back, uh, goals and defend his gold medal as well, which is not going to be an easy ask because he has tough competition from Julian Weber, uh, as well, and uh, that competition is at 8.25 p.m. Uh, local time, which was obviously mean about 11.53 um, Indian time. So that is, of course, going to be a match that everyone is going to be looking forward to. Uh, Krishma, do stay with us. When we're talking about India's performance, especially when it comes to the Paris 2024 Olympics, uh, of course, which is still underway, how would you compare it to previous performances at previous Olympic Olympic events? Well, obviously, this has been a very disappointing Olympics, apart from shooting. Imagine if Manu Bhakar hadn't won the two medals or Swapnil Kusale wouldn't have won his medal. Uh, then, of course, uh, you know, we wouldn't have had any medal. So this is a very disappointing performance from uh, the Indian contingent. Just three medals. We are hoping for two more medals today in uh, Neeraj Chopra and in hockey. Uh, but having said that, six four-place finishes is not the way India would have wanted to go, whether you talk about Arjun Babuta, Meera, by Manu Bhakar in archery. We haven't won a medal in archery. This time around, we came so, so close. Deepika Kumari has been in so many Olympics, but this time as well, she was primed uh, to win an, uh, you know, a medal, but she did not even win it this time. So obviously a lot of disappointments, but let's look forward to two more events today. It is also a big day for India, the Paris Olympics. Neer Chopra, the reigning world and Olympic champion, will be in action in the javelin throw final today at 11.55 p.m. Now, Neeraj had qualified for the final after just one throw, 89.34 meters, and it was the best throw of the qualification. It was the second best throw of his career, and Neeraj will be looking to match or even better that performance in the final. Now, he is expected to face a tough challenge from Julian Weber of Germany, Anderson Peters of Grenada, and Jacob Vadlaik of Czechia, and Ashid Nadim of Pakistan. And after the Indian hockey men's heartbreaking loss to Germany in the semi-finals, India will take on Spain today in the bronze medal match. India will compete for the bronze medal for the second Olympics in a row. Spain, that lost 4-0 in its semi-final match against Netherlands, will be looking to stop India from winning its second straight bronze at the Olympics. Meanwhile, the Indian team will welcome defender Amit Rohidas and will be in action against Spain. Rohidas had missed out to the semi-final clash against Germany following a one-match ban India and Spain have also played 34 games internationally against each other, with the Indian side holding a 16-12 advantage over Spain, while six matches ended in a draw. And the last five encounters as well, India holds a 4-1 advantage over Spain, with two of their wins coming via shoot-offs. Today's bronze match will be played at around 5.30 p.m. India time. Now, shifting focus very slightly, it's been another day and another heartbreak at the Paris Olympics for India as Mirabai Chanu missed out on a podium finish in the women's 49kg weightlifting event by just one kilogram. The Tokyo Olympics silver medalist ended her campaign in the fourth position with a total score of 199, just short of the thigh lifter who claimed the bronze medal with a score of 200. Now, reflecting on her performance after the event, Mirabai Chanu vowed to work hard and give her best performance in the next Olympic Games. Listen in. I tried to